Hello everyone, and I am back right here on the channel. Have you have you missed me? Of of course, of course, of course you've not. I know I said that I was going to do weekly, and then everything sort of got on top of me, and I sort of thought, nah. I, I didn't think nah. I just thought it sort of left my mind, and everything else sort of took over. So much has been going on here at SJJ JKHQ. I can't wait to tell you all about it. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell you now. Because, as you can see by the title of this video, it's National Children's Gardening Week. Yeah! This one's right up my street, and I hope it is yours too. Because if you're subscribed to this channel, it's all about getting families and kids out in the garden, having fun, getting mud on the fingers. I know they're probably the cleanest hands you've seen from a gardener, but... There you go. There's a lot of seagulls out there today. What's going on? You, you can't see this. Don't worry about seagulls. Now, as part of Children's Gardening Week, I have put on a daily podcast. That's right, as you well know, the Skin Gene Garden Experience is available right now. So go check it out on iTunes, Apple Podcasts. Spotify, that's the same thing. Spotify and all awesome podcast stores. Uh, a daily podcast just for you guys. Only a little one. Some are 10 minutes long, some are 5 minutes long. But it's something to give you a little push. A little push to get gardening. But what I thought we'd do today on the channel is check out Children's Gardening Week. Let me just... Children's Gardening Week dot co dot UK. I'll type it in properly. On childrensgardenweek.co.uk, you can find loads and loads and loads of awesome, about, actually about 12, about 12 different activities that you can do at home. And I'm going to have a little look right now just for you. Let's, let's delve in. I'm not going to go straight into all of them, but I'm just going to shine some attention on them. So, like the sensory path, we've talked about that before. Love a sensory path in the garden. Doesn't have to cost a lot of money. All these makes on this website, you don't have to spend an absolute fortune, which is great. For us. And a sensory path is one of those activities which you can really get into. And also, a great to take the shoes off, take your socks off and walk across the different surfaces. Oh, not Lego, not, not Lego. Full, full of beans today, full of, full of beans. Like, as in, chirpy. It's good to be back. Hit subscribe, wherever it is, hit subscribe. Next is Cascading Strawberries. This is a really great one you can do with like downpipe. So you know that downpipe that you get in your house, like, uh, what is it, what's it called? Drainage pipe. You can actually plant in strawberries into that. Great space saver, that one. Really love that one. The next make is a little bit simple, and I love it because it's nice and cheap and a lot of fun. And it's simply growing sunflowers, and they're calling it the... What are they calling it? Make a sunflower smile. And it's actually a really good idea, because growing sunflowers are a lot of fun, especially if you're going up against brother or sister. Trust me, I know all about competition with your brother. I, of course I do. Who can grow the tallest sunflower? That's what it's all about. And then at the end of it, you slowly put a little face in it. You can like rub off the top and put a little face. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Check out the website. Check it, it's, it's good. I'm a big fan of palettes and there's a few makes in here including the grow your own pallet garden and build a bug hotel. I can't read it. Again, picking up really, like, actually inexpensive. Like, the Bug Hotel is made of five or six pallets, which you can get for absolutely free. Don't go buying them. You'll get them for nothing. People, just getting rid of them, honestly. You'll find them. Look on... Look on, fa look on Facebook. Always on Marketplace, people will get rid of them. And then some cheeky one, we sell them. We sell two quid each, mate. Two quid? Fiver. Someone bought one for a fiver the other week. A fiver for a pallet. Anyway, things like the Bug Hotel, absolutely inexpensive because you don't have to pay anything for the pallets and everything that goes into them, all the bricks, all the stones, all the leaves, all the twigs, you can actually just get for absolutely nothing. I know nothing has got a G on it. Control that if you wish. 
Now, being the skinny jean girl, I can't miss this one off, and I absolutely love this. I want to do this in my own garden. Get an old pair of jeans, knot up the bottom, and then fill it full of soil, and you can turn it into a jean planter. Genie. Yes. Genius. Genius. Huh? Genius. Yep. We're back. I'm going to skip a few. One of them is also about upcycling. I absolutely love upcycling. Turning things into something else. Like, um, like this. Like this bottle. You can, oh, there's some horrible water in there. Like this bottle, you can turn it into a plant. Not a great planter. Let's be honest. More of a vase, actually. Can't find, why can't I find anything here? Who's calling me now? Anyway, as long as you've got drainage holes in the bottom of whatever you're planting up, you are sorted. I love upcycling gardening. Check out the website, they've got loads of ideas on there. And finally on the website, I need to show you a picture of this. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. It's called a robot composter. Ow, my knee. That's right, impress all your neighbours and your friends and the missus or husband with a Dalek composter. I'll, I'll be doing it. No, it is a lot of fun, and if you really want to let the kids go wild, then that's a good one. But, I think the best thing out of this is getting kids to know about compost and putting in all that stuff to create something awesome for the garden. Teaching kids about composting is really important. I think get on board with that. And if you wish to go the extra step, and have a Dalek in your garden. G good on ya. Good on ya. There's loads of other ideas right here on childrensgardenweek.co.uk. Plus, as you well know on the podcast, I put loads of ideas out on there as well. And we go through some of these ideas on the podcast too. So that'll be awesome. Uh, also, I'll be doing loads more at my shows. So go check out my website. That'll tell you where all my shows are going to be over the next few weeks. It's going to be an awesome summer. But whatever you do, just get outside with the kids and create memories. Because that's what it's all about. That's where we really make memories. Out in the garden. I always say this to you guys. But I just feel like whenever we buy a house, we always make sure there's a driveway, uh, two bathrooms. Don't know why we need two. And then a garden. But it's just the most unused space in that entire house. We've got that adventure ready to go out in the garden. I've done me rant. See you next time. That could be any time to be fair, couldn't it?